Hey folks, had a couple of questions come in and some of them I thought were uh, pretty good in terms of the review, so we're going to hit those here. The main one we're going to be talking about today, get this one a lot, they ask, what is the difference between a solar micronova during sunspot maximum and sunspot minimum? How would that change things? And that's actually not a question that actually implies. You cannot have a sunspot maximum micronova. It has to happen at a sunspot minimum. Here's why. The, so the solar micronova is the release of a shell that has accumulated in the corona, the atmosphere of the sun. And it, it's not a release of the outermost layer of what we traditionally think of as the sun. If we have a lot of sunspots, if it's sunspot maximum, if there's flares, filament releases, CMEs, it's going to blast off that shell before it can actually ever become a shell. Uh, so it has to be something that happens in a deep sunspot minimum. It just so happens that we know of two ways in astronomy to actually trigger a nova event. And one of them is a magnetic kick. The other one is dumping material onto the star such that it creates that shell that can be then blown off. Now it just so happens both of those things come with the galactic current sheet. The galactic magnetic reversal is the magnetic kick. But as that magnetic kick is being delivered to the sun, there should be a disruption, an interruption of the electrical processes on the surface of the sun that actually push the solar wind outward and actually create the CMEs. And so that magnetism, the galactic magnetic reversal, is both the magnetic kick and something that can help stop the outward flow that will allow material to actually accumulate accrete onto the star. But with the galactic current sheet also comes a lot of neutral gases, a lot of interstellar pickup ions, and a ton of dust. So there's your extra material being dumped on there. Only two ways that astronomy knows how to make a recurring nova event, whether that's a dwarf nova, a traditional recurrent nova, a classical nova, or a micronova, and both are delivered with the galactic current sheet. We, of course, have evidence of this extra dust, these extra neutrals, these extra ions, and a changing magnetic field of the sun. We have gone over that in detail. If this is new to you, go down below the video and click the Earth Disaster Playlist. We'll get you caught up pretty quickly. But again, this can't happen at sunspot maximum. This has to happen at a deep minimum. The galactic magnetic reversal actually helps to further the minimalization of that solar activity that would prevent the shell from accumulating. It, it, it is actually taking on the extra material already, more is expected with the galactic current sheet, and then as the magnetic reversal finishes and the sun gets to basically kick back up, magnetic kick, that extra shell layer can then be blown off as the solar micronova. Again, if any of this is new to you, the processes, the galactic current sheet, the solar micronova, or everything else that's happening with it. We have evidence of a magnetic shift throughout the entire solar system. Again, watch the playlist down below the video. So people keep asking also about the 6,000 year event. This is not a full magnetic flip. This is not even a major geomagnetic excursion. Those happen on the 12,000 year cycle. There does appear to be quite a bit of magnetic movement um, but it's more like a mini excursion that happens on the 6,000 year cycle. Don't forget also we have the 6,000 year super flare cycle, which is obviously going to interact with Earth's magnetic field in a considerable way. But the 6,000 year event, uh, we also talk about that a bit in the playlist as well. Uh, just as much of that in our books as well. But it's, it's definitely a more minor event. Unfortunately, we are not due for the 6,000 year event right now. We are entering into the 12,000 year event. Uh, Still daily getting questions about how people can come and help out skill-wise at Observer Ranch. I do promise, as I've said before, that we will get to that at some point. We are not yet there at this moment. We are um, still at the investing stage in that. Don't wanna go too much more into that, but if that's something you're interested in, go down below, click the link to observerranch.com and send us an email that way. So the main thing we wanted to communicate here is it will have to be in a sunspot minimum that the solar micronova takes place. Um, the deepness, the depth of that minimum will be enhanced 
as the galactic magnetic reversal takes place that will allow the extra material being brought with the galactic current sheet to more cohesively and effectively create that shell around the sun and then after the magnetic reversal of the galaxy takes place the sun kicks back in and releases that shell in the solar micronova hope this was helpful i will see you in the morning for the daily show be safe everyone